Okay, so I'm about to fill my water cooling loop on my NZXT H450. Um, just to say a few things before I actually go through and fill the loop. This is my first actual custom water cooling loop. I did ha it. My previous uh cooling solution was also uh, liquid cooled. However, it was, uh, I guess you can call it a semi uh, all in one solution. It wasn't uh, like an H100 or anything like that. It was one of those older uh, big water thermal take uh, dual drive bay solutions, which actually used a separate water block, uh, radiator and um, pump combo. Uh, it worked. It wasn't that great. Um, I guess, let's say a few things about this particular build. Um, I used hardline tubing, obviously. Uh, the layout of what I decided to do uh, was thought out over time. Uh, first, let's see what it came from. It came from this case. This is my old Antec, I believe, 900, and was actually a pretty decent case, but obviously it wasn't designed with, uh, I guess, modern uh, systems in mind. Uh, for example, I actually had to mod it quite a bit to even get it up to, uh, you know, what we would call standard features in a case today. So, for example, you know, there was no bottom ventilation if you wanted to turn your PSU, uh, well, it would be considered right side up, but uh, I guess upside down as far as Antec was concerned. If you wanted, basically, you wanted uh, lower ventilation blowing outward. Um, I had to uh, drill some extra holes for cable management. Um, it was a case which was functional and actually at the time very popular, but, um, you know, it's outlived its usefulness as far as, well, I guess what I'm doing today. And to tell you the truth, I wouldn't even say so. Um, I guess I should talk about what inspired me to do a custom loop. It actually wasn't my first intention. Uh, what I wanted to do, I guess, you know, for the holidays was to upgrade my CPU. Um, right now, I have a X99 motherboard. Uh, honestly, the cheapest one they make, or I don't know if it still the cheapest one, but it was the MSI SLI X99 Plus. Uh, and I have the cheapest Haswell E CPU in there, which is the 5820K. Um, that's a GTX 970 Strix uh, card. So as you can see, it's moderate components, not the highest end uh, components in the world. But, you know, not bad at either. You know, I built this computer about last year. It's been functioning properly. Uh, I have a one terabyte SSD in there, Samsung, it's hard to see, but it's a, a very good system. Uh, well, as far as my purposes are concerned, anyway. Uh, my idea was to actually upgrade the system to a 5960X, which as you know, as of this time, is probably Intel's, I guess, top of line enthusiast chip. Um, a friend of mine at work mentioned that a new set of chips were coming out um, and that one of them would have 10 cores. And uh, my friend Felix mentioned that I actually inspired me to sort of investigate because why get, oh, let me pause this.